Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for Saturday the 7th going into Sunday the 8th of December 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend's reading, I am using the Druid Craft Tarot deck by Philip and Stephanie Cargon. Okay, let's see what wonderful message Spirit has for us for this weekend. Okay. What, oh, thank you. What is the message for my wonderful friends, thank you, from Spirit for Saturday the 7th going into Sunday the 8th of December 2019? Thank you. Okay, our cards are out. <clears throat> oh, sorry, my friends. <laughs> There we go. Oh, hello. I think we had a ruby flyby. Okay. Your first card is Major Arcana, number four, the Lord. Followed by the Seven of Wands. And finishing with Major Arcana, number nine, the hermit okay so two major arcanas either side of your minor arcana so your first major arcana is number four the lord major arcana speak of your inner world your inner knowing your major inner knowledge and the lord also known as the emperor but in this depiction, he is called the Lord. He is real masculine energy. He is masculine power. He represents fatherhood. He represents leadership. He is a protector. He represents order and authority. And he also is representing mastery, I am hearing. And he has appeared for this weekend's reading. And I'm really, look at his intent gaze. And I'm really feeling this gaze upon you, my friends. Um, I'm feeling the power. And he is really projecting to you that for this weekend is the weekend to really practice mastery self mastery being your own authority setting yourself healthy boundaries healthy limits being a protector as in your own setting your own protection i am hearing and for some of you this may mean that you need to step into that more masculine energy um, feeling more empowered so that you can speak your truth, as we spoke of yesterday. Um, I think we did, did we? I can't remember now. <laughs> we may have spoken yesterday about, yes, coming from your heart, didn't we? So it's coming from your heart, is speaking your truth. And for some of you, uh, maybe you need the uh, courage um, of the... Um, energy of the Lord as in uh, masculine uh, power in order for you to uh, maybe you need to be saying no to people um, but he's coming he's come to help you he's going to help you uh, change yourself on the inside so that you can um, present into the physical world um, some order um, in your life um, 
and some they see I'm really hearing very strongly mastery mastery uh, really and I'm really drawn to his intent gaze uh, and just behind him we see a bird flying high in the sky um, so he is giving you it's almost like an eagle eye stare I really feel like he's pinning you down with his gaze and saying this is the time no more messing around get things in order be your own authority learn how to be your own master master yourselves he is saying this is a real accomplishment for you to to gain this weekend i am hearing my friends um, the lord also um of course he represents aries aries being the higher mind um so oh i'm really drawn to authority and he's pinning you down with his gaze and he is saying now is the time my friends no more procrastinating now is the time to step into your own your own power being your own authority being your own leader mastering yourself i am hearing and next we have the seven of wands and we are now back in the physical and in the physical uh, seven is representing the number of magic of spirituality it's also of diligence and ambition here i see you you've kind of made it to the top almost there's still higher ground to be had but i'm feeling that there's a pause in the action and with this pause in the action you are turning around and looking to see how far you have come you're not alone um, as i do see that there are people behind you um, and it almost looks here as if you are ready to defend your position ready to defend where you are finding yourself um, but i'm feeling pausing the action and you um, i'm hearing dotting the i's crossing the t's um, this is you in the physical mastering this energy of the lord this is you turning round and i do see that this is almost a defensive position so this is you being willing to protect yourself this weekend my friends uh, there's a pause in the action i am hearing uh, and in this pause uh, you may have to find that you have to defend your position defend where you are finding yourself um, also from this pause in the action i see you turning around and seeing how far you have come for some of of you this involves dotting i's and crossing t's for others this involves recognizing patterns recognizing cycles knowing that you may need to be your own authority and make a change Whoop. next you have number nine the hermit this is major arcana so this is back to your major inner knowledge nine the number of completion the number of reaching a peak reaching that ideal it's the number of leadership and the hermit well for me he asks you to do one of two things um, but for either of these things you need to uh, get some time alone um, some solitude uh, where you can either meditate as in quieten your mind so that you can listen to the the subtle quiet whispers of spirit and also he asks you to reflect and i'm really feeling reflection um, for you this weekend my friends coupled with this card you turning back and reflecting on how far you have come reflecting on where you have been doing the mirror work what can you possibly do better what can you possibly do different um 
I'm almost... Oh, my friends, I feel like you are being called to the edge, um, being asked to come to the edge. Um, I feel that there, for some of you, there are big changes to be made. Um, it's all going to start on the inside. Um, so, putting in the mirror work this weekend, for some of you, this really means facing maybe things that you did not want to turn around and face as in fears um, but this is the weekend that you have to step into this energy where you have to be your own father and i feel that your own father would be saying to you well what do you need to change what do you need to face? I'm really drawn to you being called to the edge this weekend, my friends. Facing a fear and making a change for sure. But I'm also drawn to the skies and being a wonderful shade of green. Um, so, and also at the bottom I'm drawn to the yellow. So, clarity to be had. Some clear thinking to be had um, with this clear thinking, putting you back on the path to balance and harmony. Oh, wow. Big message this weekend for someone. <laughs> OK. The Secret Language of Colour by Inner Cigar. And let's see what colour is going to assist you this weekend my friends what is the message thank you oh wow well it's not any of those it's that one anyway <laughs> but i did lose a few on the floor but not to worry okay gosh there we go and so, coming under Major Arcana, number four, the Lord, is bronze, number 14, strengthen your body. Of course, four is the number of uh, structure, security and stability, foundation in the physical. And one and four, adding up to the number five, which is conflict, crisis and chaos, but also the number of transformation and change, uh, a, ch a transformation and change to be had this weekend for sure, my friends. Strengthen your body. Bronze inspires strength, wisdom and love, helping you to get promotions, bringing wealth into your life and attracting the right people into your business. Bronze also aids in successful negotiations, teaching people to trust their instincts. Use bronze to break destructive emotional patterns, releasing irrational fears and anxieties, and flush toxic thoughts and feelings out of your body. Allow the bronze ray to bring strength and vitality back to your body. Focus on any part of your body that needs to be strengthened and place your hands on this part. Breathe into it and visualise a bronze thread coiling around that part of your body and stitching it together and strengthening it. And say, Divine Spirit, surround me with the bronze ray of light which will heal, strengthen and rejuvenate my body. Thank you. Then imagine a bronze ray of light bathing the system of your body that relates to the part of your body you are working on until it looks clear, clean and vibrant. Picture that part of your body being strong and healthy. And I'm really drawn to this being the um, the part that would actually go round um, the trunk of your body uh, and protecting uh, your heart and strengthening your heart so I'm going back to um, speaking from your heart and I feel that this Lord has arrived also helping you do that helping you have the strength and the courage as well as the abilities to speak from your heart wow okay energy oracle card by Sandra and Taylor <clears throat> oh, 
What is the message for my wonderful friends? Thank you. And your card is number 36, second chakra, Archangel Ariel. Okay. Of course, three and six adding up to number nine. So, definitely being helped here to um, complete a cycle, end a cycle, moving away from. I'm really feeling old patterns. Um, yeah, okay. Intimacy and creativity. The second chakra vibrates in the energy of the beautiful angel Ariel. She sends a bright orange energy, promoting inspired creativity and greater comfort with intimacy. When this card appears upright, it is urging you to get creative. Let yourself reach out into unexplored areas of self-expression and new projects that may have a more creative approach. This is also a time when the energies of closeness with others and nurturing yourself can flow more freely. You can now open yourself to the emotional intimacy, wow, that may be coming your way. So nurture yourself and be ready to receive the affection and camaraderie of the resonant souls around you. Oh, okay, your affirmation is, my second chakra is opened to its perfect healthy state. I am creative and self-nurturing, more and more comfortable with the gentle waves of intimacy that are coming my way. So feeling less defensive and more in the receiving and allowing I am hearing my wonderful friends. Okay, these also call to me, so ask and it is given. Esther and Jerry Hicks and the teachings of Abraham. <clears throat> what is the message? It's you. Thank you. Okay, we have number 55. I will do my best to make the best of it. Five and five adding up to ten. So uh, again, this is culmination. This is the ultimate. This is reaching a peak. Um, really, you are being assisted this weekend, my friends, to end a cycle, a pattern, to end one way of being, um, and so that you can move into a new time, a new way of being. A key to regaining your feeling of empowerment is to decide right now that no matter how good or how bad you are feeling, you are going to do your best to make the best of it. Do that again and again and in a short period of time you will find yourself in a very good feeling place. Oh, okay. So this defensive action that I'm feeling, uh, you are being encouraged to make the best of where you are finding yourself, making the best of it. This is going back to being present, being in the moment and then speaking from your heart, which is speaking from um from the place of that the divine would be coming from. Um Making wonderful changes then, my friends, I am hearing. Giving you the inner strength and the inner courage to make this change. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Oh, thank you, Ruby. <laughs> 
she knows which card straight away today and your card from Ruby the kind red spirit is Oh, partnerships. Teamwork will give you better results, finding trustworthy people to partner with and build up a talented support team. Uh, I'm actually feeling this is you and your connection with spirit, your connection with the divine. Uh, as I really look at the colours, um, and I do t really feel that this, as it's come under the hermit, my friends, and you've been called to come to the edge, um, go to the edge. The divine is waiting for you, waiting to connect, waiting to feed you that right information, um, waiting to help you make this wonderful change that I am seeing and hearing, my friends, this change of mastering yourselves this weekend my friends wow what a wonderful wonderful message well let's finish with just reading partnership this card encourages you to reach out and connect with trustworthy people who can work with you or support you as you build your dreams. Trying to do everything yourself is holding you back and you could free up so much time and energy by getting help. You could be stuck in a creative blind spot that someone with fresh eyes would easily see a solution to. Perhaps you are spending too much time cleaning and doing the laundry when you could be writing your book or launching your business. You may be in need of a life coach, an angel investor, an assistant, a personal trainer, accountant, business partner, nanny or even a cleaner. You know which area is draining your time and energy. So start making enquiries and look for someone who will love to help out or be hired by you. When you do find possible candidates, be sure to trust your intuition on whom to take on. Ask for references and testimonials, but always go with your inner voice and the person whose energy feels best. These unicorns know that partnerships make life more easy, fun and magical. Delegating the tasks that drain you will free you up to step further into your brilliance. It is your time to shine, but you need a team behind you in order to soar to your next level of success. Oh, wow, 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 my friend. So being encouraged to build up a support team. I also feel encouraged this connection with the divine because the divine knows that you are doing your best and coming from this, this basis, my friends, um, I do really feel that you are strengthening yourselves up, becoming your own masters, speaking and, and, and acting from your heart I am hearing is really, really connecting you up with the divine and connecting you up with your tribe, with like-minded people, people who are going to support and assist you, I am hearing. Wow, <laughs> well thank you for all of your likes, your shares, welcome new subscribers, thank you so much for your support, thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails, I really enjoy receiving them so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend. And until Monday, my friends, goodbye.